Question 20. Will Joel Osteen and what others call uh, false teachers go to heaven? Uh, this is uh, one question on a playlist called 50 Hot Potato Questions for Christians. Uh, will uh, Joel Osteen and what other uh, people say are false teachers go to heaven? Um, I used to... Uh, be a person who was uh, critical of other ministries. And I used to uh, call ministries out and call uh, teachers out and call them uh, false prophets and false teachers. Um, and uh, I was uh, led by the Holy Spirit uh, to, uh, instead of call them out, uh, to pray for them and have a spirit of humility about me and uh, come away uh, from the prideful way of uh, self-righteousness and thinking uh, too highly of myself. Um, I have to say, uh, in my years of uh, addictions and sexual sin, uh, uh, being a person who uh, sinned a lot over the last 40 years. Uh, it uh, becomes uh, really tiresome uh, to hear uh, people uh, post messages about uh, people who are caught in sin uh, going to hell. Um, and the Christian church uh, isn't uh, very... Uh, graceful and caring and compassionate on people that are caught in addiction. Uh, they have a very hard line uh, when it uh, comes to sin and uh, are very abrupt uh, with people, uh, the way that they share information and post information. And it's in that climate that I believe uh, people like Joel Austin uh, does uh, the world a good service, uh, preaching uh, happy messages, preaching encouraging and uplifting messages. Um, the people of God are often uh, beaten down and overcome uh, with life struggles and life's trials. And uh, I can see... Uh, a real need uh, for uh, them uh, to be encouraged and built up and blessed uh, by someone like Joel. Uh, I've only ever really heard uh, one of his sermons, although uh, his uh, wife uh, is a friend on Facebook. Or I, I um, follow her page and uh, she has a lot of uh, encouraging uh, things to say. I always uh, read uh, what she has to say. And so um, I'm uh, very uh, leery, uh, very uh, hesitant uh, to call someone a false prophet or a false teacher, uh, like I shared uh, earlier uh, when I talked about a false prophet I believe a false prophet is someone who leads you to serve another God, um, whether that uh, be money or whether that uh, be themselves. And uh, I can't see uh, Joel Austin uh, causing people to serve him. Uh, I can't see him uh, leading people uh, to serve another God. Uh, so um, I don't uh, believe uh, that uh, personally, I don't believe uh, that he's a false teacher, although uh, many people uh, who um, are uh, police uh, for the Christian church um, uh, who are heresy hunters uh, would disagree with me and uh, <clears throat> often name uh, Joel Austin in a list of uh, people that are false teachers. Um, I uh, tend to, uh, I have uh, been used to uh, the grace of God uh, with um, the mercy of God 
being applied to me, uh, being forgiven uh, multiple uh, times by God. And it's put me in a position and a state of mind that uh, allows uh, people to have mercy and grace. And uh, I uh, tend to have changed my attitude uh, when it comes to uh, preachers and, and teachers uh, in the body of Christ. And I apply a lot of grace uh, to them. Uh, so uh, I would say uh, if uh, Joel Austin uh, is considered a false teacher uh, by God um, and he's the only judge, um, if he's considered a false teacher by God and is going to uh, lose his salvation, it, it is my prayer uh, that uh, he would change his ways and change his method of doing things. And I pray often uh, for people uh, who I believe are on the wrong track, but I personally uh, don't believe uh, Joel Austin is on the wrong track. And... Um, I believe uh, he doesn't uh, preach a prosperity doctrine, which uh, I believe is wrong. Um, so, um, but uh, if you're a false teacher and uh, you're teaching uh, error on purpose, I believe uh, God will judge you. I pray that uh, you've been encouraged by this uh, video and, uh, and uh, you're blessed. God bless.